Hello and welcome! In this video, we are going to explain how to connect a wireless tilt angle sensor DU BLE to your smartphone and to configure it in the vertical and horizontal rotation modes in order to control the work of a concrete mixer. Also, we will explain how to connect the sensor to your GPS tracker via our BLE RS485 wired adapter and how to configure the reports on a monitoring platform in the most efficient way. Once you open the app, you need to tap on the sensor settings, select Bluetooth connection, and then there are two ways to connect the sensor. Either you scan the QR code on the sensor's cap like this, now the sensor is connected. Or you can also use the serial number of the sensor, simply enter it into the search box and tap on the connect button. The sensor is once again connected. Once the sensor is connected, you see the main screen with the following parameters. Serial number and firmware version, current angle, the operating mode the sensor has been set to, event notification. Depending on the mode, here you can see four types of messages active, inactive, to the left, and to the right. RSSI signal, which means the quality of the connection between the sensor and your phone. Battery charge in volts. 3.5 means the battery is fully charged. ID and MAC address of the sensor, which will be used to link the sensor with GPS trackers directly without any adapters, if they support our modified interface protocol Escort BLE. Set zero button, which enables you to establish the reference point for the sensor that marks its operating or inoperating position depending on the mode. It's not used in the rotation modes. And the last one is the status, connected or not. From the main screen, we need to go to the settings. The app will require you to enter the password or to establish one if the sensor is fresh out of the box. By default, the sensor is set to the transportation mode, which has been designed to allow it to save the battery charge while not being used. You need to switch it to the mode you need. In the vertical rotation mode, the sensor rotates like this, to the right, to the left, or like this, to the left, to the right. In the horizontal rotation mode, the sensor rotates like this, to the left and to the right. Once the sensor is configured, we can continue with connecting it to a GPS tracker via our wired adapter BLE RS485 and setting up reports on a monitoring platform. In this example, we are going to use a GPS tracker Smart2435 by Naftelecom and Vialon platform by Gertum. After you have connected the wired BLE RS485 adapter to a converter and then to a laptop, you need to run our Escort configurator and go to the BLE section. Here you click on the BLE adapter settings, after which you see four different memory slots of the adapter that you can use to connect up to four sensors. To do so, you need to click on the connect another or 
connect sensor button and then enter the serial number of the sensor like this. Establish the connection and now the sensor is connected. Remember that the sensor is transmitting four parameters. The current angle, event notification, RSSI signal and battery charge. You can switch off the transmission of the last two parameters by clicking on this tumbler. Also, you need to remember that in case all four parameters are transmitted, the adapter occupies two separate network addresses. Those are RS485 network addresses. Therefore, if you are connecting other devices to your GPS tracker via RS485 interface, you need to assign them unique network addresses. So be careful what addresses you use for our adapter and other devices. Otherwise, you might get an address conflict, uh, which will result in the corrupted data. Once the sensor is connected to the wired BLE RS485 adapter, we can go to configuring the GPS tracker Smart 2435 by Naftelecom. To do so, we open the configurator and go to the tracker's settings. Here, in the protocol settings section, we go to the FLS RS232 and RS485 Bluetooth tab and activate two first sensors. And then we go to the RS232 RS485 tab here in the RS-485 part we select the FLS device type, activate two first sensors, we deactivate the filtration. Uh, if you need to change the network addresses you should do it here if you have other devices connected to the tracker. And then load to device it's going to reboot. Then we go to the telemetry, select request periodically every one second, and go to the flow and fuel level sensors tab. The current angle of the sensor is transmitted in the level byte of the first sensor. The event notification is transmitted as the temperature of the first sensor. The battery charge is transmitted as the level of the second sensor and RSSI signal is transmitted as the temperature of the second sensor. In the vertical and horizontal rotation modes, the event notification can have three values, zero, no rotation, one, rotation to the left, to rotation to the right. In other modes, such as bucket, angle control, and plow, notification can have only two values, zero and one. Zero, the sensor is inactive, and one, the sensor is active. Once you have configured the sensor and connected it to a GPS tracker via our wired BLE RS485 adapter, you can proceed with the setting up the reports on the Vialon platform. Here's how it is done. You create the object and then go to the sensors tab. In the vertical and horizontal rotation modes, you need to create three different custom digital sensors here. Click on the new sensor and select the name. In our case, it will be no rotation. Here you need to select custom digital sensor and the parameter in our case is temperature of the first fuel sensor. Now we go to the calculation table and the values we enter here 
are the following 0, 0, 1, add line 0, 0.1, 0, 0. Okay, now we need to create another one. This one will be called to the left. Once again, custom digital sensor. And the parameter is the same temperature of the first fuel sensor. Calculation table should look like this. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, point 1, 0, 0. Okay. And the third one, which will be called to the right, custom digital sensor, parameter is the same. And the calculation table should look like this. 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 1, 2, point 1, 0, 0. Now we have just set the sensors and we can proceed with the, the customization of the report. We create a new report here. Let's call it DUBLE. And we add a new table. Let's call it rotation. And the type should be digital census. Here we tick the sensor, the activated, deactivated, duration, location, final location. We shuffle them a little bit for our convenience in the future. And then we go to the settings, tick the detailization, total, and then we need to create the sensor masks, three of them actually, like this. As you can see, I am putting the names of the sensors I have just created between the asterisks. Okay, and then let's add a new chart as well. It should be custom digital sensors. And in the settings, we need to create, once again, three different masks. The name of the sensor, written in full or partially, but put between the asterisks. Then we select stops, parkings and trips, and that's it. Okay. Our report is ready. Now we can execute it. Let's see. Here's how the table looks. The name of the sensor. The time when it was activated. The place where it happened. And then again, the time and the place where the sensor was deactivated. Now let's take a look at the chart and it looks like this. It is really a matter of preference which one you like more, the chart or the table, but here's how you configure the reports on the Vialon platform for the DUBLE sensor set to the vertical and horizontal rotation modes. Now you know how to tune the wireless tilt angle sensor DUBLE in the horizontal and vertical rotation modes, how to connect it to a GPS tracker and to a monitoring platform, and how to set up the reports in the most efficient way. Thank you for your time and attention and see you in the next video.